Hello everyone, this is uh, Forecast Year reporting in. Uh, we have an important um, update on the Ebola situation and regarding to quarantines and how this thing is likely to play out in the next few weeks and months in the United States. You can look back at our other forecasts that we did. They are very accurate, spot on, predicting how Ebola would move and what would happen depending on the government response to it. Um, as we know, basically, unless they had very draconian um, hardline responses to this thing to contain it, that it would spread dramatically, and it has. We're seeing it spread directly through Africa, and it's now it's, it's kind of touching the shores of America and Europe, if you will, uh, at the point of entry, which is our airports. And um, we also predicted it would cross the border into Mali, and it has these adjacent countries, and that they wouldn't we would have a hard time to sort of control the border fully. A lot of these borders are just jungle. And so this, as this problem grows with Ebola, this problem is going to spread dramatically. As that pertains to the quarantines, people are going to get more and more desperate, and they're not going to be able to stop them really at the airport the way they hope, unless they have real quarantines in place. Actually, they need to have a flight ban. They need to have a flight ban and a, a double quarantine on top of that, because it's actually up to 42 days plus to find out all, this, all the, uh, this, the cases and the symptoms. We had this guy get through, um, Craig Spencer, and, he, you know, he went everywhere in the city, basically. And then he told people that he was going to be home quarantined. And, but he, he, he broke his word. And then he went around the city and he went to all these places. We won't know for 42 days who else may have gotten this disease from this guy. So this is a pretty serious matter, because we could now have Ebola out in the wild, if you will. And we just don't know it. It's a matter of time. This thing, this thing is giving me like a time bomb um, waiting to go off. It's very dangerous as far as the output. Um, so they, the, the governors tried to be proactive about this thing. And, and, the, and then the government said, okay, well, we're going to limit the point of entry. The, the, um, notice, notice the CDC can't get anything done. The Department of Homeland Security had to come in and make a ruling. Not the CDC, but the DHS, which is above them. And this guy's totally incompetent. He can't get anything done. This Tom Friedman guy, he's, he's accelerating the input of the importation of Ebola into America through all his rules, what he's doing. That is the net effect that he's doing. He, I mean, he's, the guy's a disaster. <sighs> okay, so Saturday Night Lights got a little thing about the Ebola czar. So basically, then they had a ruling after, right about the time this doctor came in, they said, okay, um, it was, it was when they, the guy came into Texas, and the guy in Texas got sick, and then we had Dr. Craig um, Spencer in New York come in just recently. So today is Sunday, October 26th. Sorry, it's a little bit unorganized talk, but these are important topics, so bear with me. So five airports, okay, so what's going to happen is they're going to funnel them through these five airports, and of those airports, after this rule came out, then Dr. Craig, like a day or two later, comes down with Ebola. And they're all being routed into five airports. New York, Newark, which is New Jersey, right, right by it. Dulles International in, near D.C., uh, Chicago, and the one in Atlanta. Well, the, the, the mayors figured out there's a problem. They said, this is going to force all the Ebola people into our community. And they're seeing it happen already with this Dr. Craig guy. And so the, the governors said, they came to their senses. They said, the federal government's not doing its job. We're going to have to step up to the plate at the local level and do it at the state level. So they did. Uh, Governor, Governor Christie of, uh, of New Jersey and Cuomo of New York both said we're going to have a forced quarantine, or a real one. By the way, we talked about the historical parallel of doing that and the importance of doing it in our prior video. We, we made a historical parallel about the flu pandemic and about how they had to have real quarantines to try to resolve this thing. We haven't had that with, with Ebola, not in the United States anyway. We haven't had real quarantines. So we also talked about that important parallel, um, which people are kind of starting to come to their senses about. It's inconvenient, it's painful, but we have to do it. The, the, the alternative is, is far worse. So they basically said, okay, we're going to limit the entry to these five airports. And they said, hey, we got the Ebola people coming in now. They're coming into New York, and they're coming into New Jersey. And he, he, Dr. Craig told us he was going to home quarantine, and then he didn't do it. He, went, he ran around the city. He went out for drinks, and he went bowling, and he had dinner and all this uh, right after he got back. 
And, and they said, well, we don't even know where Ebola is now in the community. So then, these other people came to their senses. Florida, Illinois, New Jersey, and New York said, hey, we're going to have a 21-day monitoring and like a, like a quarantine of some sort. That was a good idea. That was a step in the right direction, right? And there's this political backlash from this complete winch nurse. I don't know how she's a medical professional. She's supposed to be having the best interest of the community at heart. She comes back from West Africa, and she's up in arms that she's under quarantine. And she's a person that studied medicine in school. She ought to know what a quarantine is and why we have it. But she's, she's gone off as, as if she's above a quarantine, and she wants to sue the city of New York or New Jersey. It is insane, her behavior. She ought to have her license, her medical license, pulled. This, 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 this crazy nurse that's giving them a hard time. It is amazing um, that that's happening. And, you know, so also, Illinois also issued one. Our forecast in a nutshell, given the trajectory of this thing, is if they're not able to enforce these quarantines, we're going to have a major problem. And if they're able to partially enforce them on a localized level, what will happen is the point of entry, here's, here's the catchphrase here, the point of entry will be the states and the cities that don't have the the, the, the political courage to force a real quarantine. I'm not talking a, a home quarantine. I'm talking a real one where they, the, the, there's the military, the police are there to make sure you don't go spread the disease until you're, you know, 40, 42 days in the clear. And so if we look around at what those ones are, those are going to be D.C., Washington, D.C. area, and Atlanta. And it's kind of rank with irony. These are the two areas that are telling the biggest lies about how Ebola can spread potentially to the public and whatnot. And their own lie is going to come back to bite them because that'll be the very point of entry to the United States will be either the D.C. metro area or Atlanta, right where the CDC is. They're the ones that are propagating the biggest lies about this thing, how this thing spreads, how you can get it. And so I, I think it would be, would be very ironic to see this thing play out. It's going to go straight into their community. Watch, watch this lie come back to haunt them. They're not going to be able to confront the lie publicly. And, and so basically they've already said, hey, look, um, that um, here it is. No mandatory Ebola health quarantine for workers coming into the D.C. area. Well, now that's a mistake. So D.C. and Atlanta are the only ones that are not putting their, of, of, of the five cities where you can fly into, D.C. and Atlanta currently, that's of Sunday night, October 26th, that have not had the courage to come out because they're, they're highly federalized in their installations. There. They got the CDC there in Atlanta, and they got the D.C. The DC people in D.C. and the feds, and, and it's going to be a very painful reality check when Ebola spreads first in those two communities. So you can look for Ebola to spread first wherever they're refusing to do a real quarantine because everybody who's got Ebola is coming into the United States or maybe is is at risk for it knows that will be the easiest way to slip in. Watch for those places to have the outbreaks first. If you have any doubt about our forecasts, check out all of the forecasts that we did on Ebola. And they were kind of contrary at the time, but they've been spot on. Um... This thing is growing by leaps and bounds in a scary way in Africa. And again, it's now just coming to the shores of the United States and Europe. And if we don't have the courage to stop it before it even comes here with a travel ban, like we should be, we have a full travel ban in these areas, uh, the minimum thing would be then a real quarantine, which they're not even doing, or they're doing it in a hapdash manner. That being the case, again, our forecast is you can expect the points of entry for the initial flare-ups in the United States of Ebola to be in the places that will not enforce a real honest to God quarantine. Watch for that to happen. Please follow us on Twitter. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube, please. If you like this movie, um, please click like. And before, if you know, you might, if you have any doubts, again, please feel free to go back and see our other videos we did about forecasts with regard to the Ebola situation. They've been very accurate and way ahead of the t time. Thanks so much for watching. Please be safe. Please do your preps and get your prepping done. The government, frankly, is not doing. They're not being honest. And they're not um, giving us the real information we need to get ready for this thing and confront it head on. Thanks so much. Forecast, you're signing out.